couple of days ago, they released some set leaks photos from the cast filming Doom Patrol, and I think some of their stunt people. And those, like, gained a little bit of traction, you know, in some articles and things like that. But they didn't trend on Twitter, not the way leaks for, like, DC movies and DC's TV shows like the Titans TV show has. Remember when those Starfire, Raven, and Beast Boy, like, leaks came months ago? Those trended on Twitter for a long time, but not so much for Doom Patrol. And the reason why I think is because Doom Patrol is a lesser known team than the Titans are. And so, you know, they aren't really as popular or well known yet for them to trend on Twitter for hours when you see leaks of them online. At least I didn't see them trend. I did see different accounts putting their like photos online, but I didn't see, you know, the hashtag Doom Patrol is one of the top trends in the United States the way that it is when like Titan stuff comes out. But it's just because the Doom Patrol is a lesser known team and stuff. But anyways, let's get into what was there. Here is um, a picture of Negative Man. I assume that's Dwayne Murphy or his stunt double. Dwayne Murphy was cast as Negative Man a while ago. And, you know, as far as I know, he hasn't been recast with like a more famous actor the way that the Robot Man actor has been and the way that um, the Chief has been rumored to have happened, has happened to. That's a very, very good um, getup. I mean, he looks exactly like Negative Man looks. In some of the more recent comics and older comics too but i think in the recent like doom patrol series written by gerard way i think negative man has sported this like exact look with that coat and stuff and you know sweater it looks spectacular and the glass the shades over the um the bands <laughs> that looks great there's april bowlby as a lasty woman she looks kind of old school here i don't know well i guess that's the same kind of like formal or like nicer attire that a dress that a woman pearls that a woman could wear to something today although she does look kind of like with that hairstyle and stuff to me she does look kind of like classic movie star kind of thing which would fit because her character Rita Farr was a movie actress and this character was created in the 60s you know several decades ago I don't think this show takes place in the past though so maybe that is supposed to be this is modern day she just happens to look to me kind of like an old school actress there is Robot Man, the guy in the suit, either Riley Str uh, Stranahan or Shanahan. He's the guy playing Robot Man in the suit. You know, and Brenda Fraser's doing the voice. Or that's a stunt double. Maybe that's neither one of those actors is a stunt guy. But there's Robot Man from a side view, so I guess they are going to use a lot of prosthetics. Or not prosthetics, but um, just like a traditional costuming for Robot Man. And probably do some CGI post-production in the VFX room. But that's him driving like a car. I don't know if that's a scene from the the actual like show or if that's just the actors inside this truck and they're driving him somewhere or he's supposed to, or you know, they're going from place to place. There is Diane Guerrero as Crazy Jane. Um, she doesn't look, when Crazy Jane was first debuted in the comics in Grant Morrison series in the late 80s, early 90s, I don't really know if she really dressed like this. But this definitely has a spirit of the character. This is more in line with what she might wear in the Doom Patrol comics nowadays. The, um, the Gerard Way ones. <coughs> but she does look good. I mean, I like this outfit. Okay, here's like, this is just Jared now where a lot of these photos I think were originally posted. There's Riley Shanahan or Stranahan in his Doom Patrol outfit. And maybe that's what he was wearing sitting in the car. In the truck in the earlier photo with, you know, a bunch of crew around him. There's April Bowlby again, and we've seen that picture already. There's a farther away shot of Diane Guerrero as Crazy Jane. Okay, so this is a scene, look, they are in a bus. The crazy bus, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the Doom Patrol in a bus. And that's the scene. I guess they're driving in a bus somewhere. Robot Man's in the driver's seat driving the other cast members. Hmm, okay, that's cool. And there's one more of the actor playing Negative Man or his stunt double in the Negative Man getup talking to some crew members. And there are lots of other photos here on Just Jared, but it's just more shots of the same kind of stuff, so I don't know if I need to go over all of them. But, you know, I think this looks really great. They look very, very comic book accurate. Or at least in an accurate spirit, a spirit that accurately reflects these characters' tone in the comics. Which is a lot more than I guess a lot of people might feel 
about those Titans photo leaks that came months ago. You know, the Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, the infamous ones. But I, I didn't really mind those because I'm giving the show the benefit of the doubt. But I know those went over like horribly with a lot of people. But these outfits look really, really spectacular. I think they're more spot on. So what do you think? Do you like these Doom Patrol pictures? If you're someone who's familiar with the Doom Patrol, I don't think as many people who watch this channel are as familiar with the Doom Patrol as they are with like the Titans or other DC super teams because the Doom Patrol is a relatively obscure superhero team to a lot of people. This is their first, this show will kind of be like their first introduction to a lot of people who had no clue who they were until now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I will talk to you soon. Bye.